So guys, have you noticed that all gaming chairs look exactly the same? It's that racing chair look, just with different colors and logos. And they all do the same thing. They go up and down, they tilt back and forth. They have the footrests that no one ever uses. <laughs> but the most important thing besides price is comfort. So today, we're gonna take a look at a gaming chair from a company called Pequito, or Pequito. I'm not sure I pronounce it. But this chair is designed for comfort. So today we'll unbox it, assemble it, and test it. This is the Fuquito 6627 Big and Tall Gaming Chair. Oh, it's heavy. And this gaming chair can hold up to 330 pounds and is available in four colors. So now let's unbox the gaming chair. And guys, remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And we also encourage you to visit our Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And it looks like we have a warranty card. And you can see the box is packed well. And here are the instructions. And only eight steps to complete the assembly. And this side shows all the parts, the assembly drawing, and the features. And this gaming chair retails for $269.99. Both the headrest pillow and the lumbar pillow feel comfortable, and both pillows are attached with a clip system. So guys, what brand gaming chair do you currently own? Let us know in the comments below. And also, let us know if you like the gaming chair and how much it costs. And once again, Fuquito did a great job packing all the contents. There is no damage. Okay, now we're all done unboxing the gaming chair. Alright guys, this is everything you get with this Fuquito gaming chair. This is all the parts. What I do like about this right off the bat, this is metal. This is not plastic. If you look at like chairs like this, this is hard plastic. This is metal. It's going to be more solid. I like that a lot. Um, these pieces feel really good. These are actually plastic here, but they feel really solid. And I think inside it is plastic is inside here. So you're getting, it's like plastic. It's like metal with plastic wrapped around it. So it does um, feel pretty solid. One thing I did notice though is these side pieces, arm pieces, are not cushioned. So I'm concerned about that, but we're gonna try it out. There could be more parts in that box over there, maybe as a cover, I don't know, but um, what else? Cushions look pretty good, they feel good. Once again, this is the racing chair theme. That's kind of how all these gaming chairs look. But this is nice, it's high quality, definitely. It's got this nice material here, kind of embroidered. Feels really sharp. Stitching if you look at the stitching on this, it's really nice. It's kind of hard to see right now But I'll I'll give my uh, my Sony 4k out later once it's assembled and we'll take a detailed Look at this gaming chair, but it looks really well put together. There's the back So it does look really nice It's not cheap and these aren't cheap chairs, but You can't put a price on comfort. So we'll see how how comfortable this chair is and um yeah, looking forward to trying it out. So, all right, let's get this thing assembled. We've got a lot of parts in here in this box. Yeah, it looks like it has tools. You know, it comes with a tool, so you don't need any extra tools. So, it should be fun. It looks like there's eight steps on the instruction guide. So, only eight steps, hopefully not too complicated. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, these are all the parts. We'll start with step one. And basically, we're going to... Put the wheels on here. We'll go ahead and put this assembly inside the hole. Put the wheels in first. Should pop right in. I do like these wheels. They feel pretty sturdy. They feel really solid. I think one thing Fuquito could have done better was provide metal wheels to go along with the metal stand. Right. That's pretty good. And next, it goes in. 
and forget to put this on top. So, here we go. Now we're done with step one. Next, we're on to step two. It's like the seat with the adjustment. All right. All right, now we're gonna install So this. guys, you wanna flip this around. I thought the front was at the top. Yeah. But the front of the gaming yeah. chair is where the writing is. It's for these. So I basically tool. installed it in yeah, reverse. Yeah. So. But no big deal. I simply unscrewed it Boy, and reverse. installed it the correct way. Get it started, then you can use the tool to finish the job. So here, you can see I had to flip that bracket around. And good thing it's only four bolts. Now it's time to attach the two armrests. And each armrest gets four bolts. And this is really nice because armrests typically become loose after a while. And with these four bolts, that shouldn't be an issue. And now it's time to attach the angle adjusters. And each angle adjuster requires four bolts. And just a hint, don't tighten these all the way until you get all four bolts in. And this angle adjuster bracket controls the tilt of the chair. And once again, remember, do not tighten all the bolts until you get all four in. And guys, just a heads up, this chair was provided for free from Fuquito for a thoughtful and honest review. So the final step is to attach the angle adjuster covers. There's four of them and each one's attached with one screw. That's it. And guys, we're all done assembling the chair. And my first impression is it looks great. Like I said before, it comes in four different colors, and we chose the solid black. Fuquito calls these armrests 3D armrests because of the wide variety of adjustments, left and right and back and forth and up and down, which is definitely a plus for big and tall people. Now let's take a detailed look at the chair and the quality of the material. The very first thing I noticed about this chair is this incredible stitching that's around the entire chair. It looks amazing. And I love the cloth embroidered design, which is something you see only in high-end chairs. And the seat cushion itself is very thick, as well as the side cushions. And once again, there's that stitching. It's pretty much flawless. As far as the material, I'm not sure what it is. It's not leather, but it's definitely high quality. And here's the lever that adjusts the tilt of the chair. And you can see all that stitching that goes around the chair and the thickness of the pads. This should be a comfortable chair. And at the bottom is the lumbar pillow for your lower back. And there's the head pillow. Overall, a really nice looking chair. But we need to test this chair because comfort is the key to any good gaming chair. So I decided to have my son test out this chair first. He plays a lot of Fallout 4. And even though this chair is designed for big and tall people, my son fit perfectly in the chair. And as you can see, he even used the 3D armrests. To get a fair and accurate test for this chair, I let Sebastian play for about an hour. And he said the chair was comfortable the whole time. Although he said he didn't need the lumbar pad. I guess at his age, you don't need lower back support. But for me, it's a must. So I'll test this out playing some Gran Turismo on PS5. And this race requires 10 laps. And sitting on the couch and racing for 10 laps is not very comfortable. However, in this gaming chair, it felt great. No sore back or stiff legs. All I had to do was recline the chair back a little bit and start racing. So I decided to play for about an hour to see if I had any soreness. And I gotta be honest, I had no soreness at all after an hour. 
and usually sitting on the couch playing PS5, within 20 minutes my back is killing me. So I guess I need one more chair for the living room. Or maybe two. So guys, what do you think is the most popular color gaming chair? Well guys, you're looking at it. That's right, black is the most popular color gaming chair. And my plan is to use this chair both for gaming and for work. As a matter of fact, I did the edit for this entire video using this gaming chair. And no soreness. So guys, after testing this chair thoroughly, both gaming and for productivity, I can definitely say I love this chair. The one thing I would change about this chair is the wheels should be metal since the base is metal and that would add to the durability factor. And to be honest, I really didn't think I'd like the armrests without the padding. But these armrests are really comfortable. They're kind of rounded and textured. So as far as the review goes for this gaming chair, the Paquito 6627 is fantastic. There's not much I'd change about it. It looks great, it's very functional, and super comfortable. And this chair is priced at $269.99. And there'll be links in the description below to where you can buy this chair. And if Fuquido does send us a discount code, we'll put that in the comments below. So guys, once again, we recommend this gaming chair. This is a premium gaming chair at a premium price. And we feel it's worth every penny. Well guys, we're all done here. As usual, I want to thank you so much for watching. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.